It's all about perceptions. You know, and God means different things to different people. What the science tells us is there is a fundamental and unifying force in this universe. We call it whatever we want to call it, and throughout the ages it's been called different things. And as the science delves deeper into the fundamental nature of, of our world in physics, we're finding out more about that force. Uh, and that force appears to, to have uh, an intelligence or a consciousness underlying uh, its very existence. So whatever attributes, this is the thing, it's so big we probably can't even talk about it. Because what we try to do is assign human attributes to, uh, to our experience and the things that we don't understand. Our ancestors did that, we're, we're trying to do this today. So it, it's all about the perception of, of what the word God means to you. Uh, I have my personal perceptions as a scientist on the stage. There's things I can say to you that we know to be true, but the, the mind is always trying to make sense of our experience and of our reality. And I think this is, this is where we get into trouble because through the ages, it is the different interpretations, the different perceptions of this unifying fundamental force that have people say, you know, my perception is better than your perception. And we've got a world of religions battling over that right now. But what we know is this. Here, here's what the science is telling us. So in 2008, I released a book entitled The Divine Matrix. And it was the science that is documenting existence of this unified field and our relationship to it as we knew the science in 2008. That book was considered fringe science. Some people even called it pseudoscience in 2008. I went to my own hometown in Kansas City, Missouri, in the middle of, of America, to do a book signing, and my book was on what was called the occult bookshelf. On the, in the back, I had to go back and get my book to bring it forward. That was then. Now that book is required reading in the physics courses in Canadian and some American universities. A Canadian professor called me and he asked for permission. He has a course that is called Physics in Society. And he's using this as the, the basis for that. And, and the reason I'm saying that is because this field provides three functions. It is the container, the field that connects all things. It is the container for everything that happens in our experience. Nothing exists beyond this container. It's the container. It is the bridge between our inner and our outer world, and it is the mirror in our external world for what we claim to believe in our inner world. This is the field. So when we look at those functions of the field and we compare those to what our ancestors said God was all about, you see a tremendous parallel. Because the old traditions tell us that God knows everything that we're doing, that God uh, allows us to, to mirror our experiences, and that God is what connects all things. So the language is changing as we learn more, but we know that there is some fundamental force, and the mind uh, is trying to, to give meaning to that.